Hey folks, it's Daniel here with another Python developer tip. So I've got iTerm2 here, uh, which is the terminal emulator that I use on my Mac. And uh, it's got a super, super handy feature that allows you to click on any file name in the terminal and then open that in your favorite editor. So check this out. I've got a Python project here and um, I'm going to kick off a test run with PyTest. And um, before I started the recording, I actually broke one of the tests and uh, I get this wonderful printout from PyTest, right? And now what I can do, I can hit press down command and then click on that file name with the line number. And what's gonna happen is that iTerm actually opens that file in my editor, which in my case is Sublime Text 3, and it bounces me directly to the failed test case. So did you see that, right? Just command click into iTerm 2, and it's gonna open that file directly on that failed assertion based on the line number, I can fix my test and run it again. So this is a super, super handy feature if you're uh, running Python tests from the command line like I do, like it's kind of my workflow. And um, it just, cu just cuts down on the time that you need to actually find these test failures and then fix them. Now, the cool thing is it doesn't just stop there. So I can just do that with any file name, right? It doesn't have to be um, part of a test failure. So even if I just run the ls command to list my files, I can just click on any of those files and they're gonna be opened in the editor that I have configured, which is super, super useful. Um, it has another feature where if you click on a folder or directory, it's actually gonna open that folder in uh, Finder so you can browse it. And um, I use that feature all the time. It is so handy. And now I'm gonna show you how to actually configure that. So what you wanna do is you wanna open the preferences for iTerm2 and then click on profiles and then go all the way to the right to the advanced tab. From there, you wanna go to um, the bit that says uh, semantic history and you wanna use these settings. So I have this set to open with editor and then I just picked my editor uh, of choice, which in my case is Sublime Text 3. So you can you know pick any editor that's in your applications folder and it's just gonna, gonna work. And uh, well, then you close the preferences and uh, you're ready to go. You can just try this feature out. Uh, out. It's actually really easy to set up once you find this setting, which took me, I don't know, like a year <laughs> to actually realize that iTerm2 could do this. And I was really glad I found this. So I think iTerm2 is actually a really, really great program uh, that I use, uh, well, basically every day in my development workflow. And um, I'm probably gonna do more videos about that. So if you're interested in this topic, you want to learn more tips like that, then either subscribe to my channel or actually go to debater.org slash newsletter, where, uh, which is my website. Where I have a ton of free stuff for Python developers, uh, tutorials and videos just like the one you just watched. And if you want to go there then uh, and sign up for a newsletter, then you're never going to miss out on another video. And I'd love to stay in touch with you. Cool. Thanks so much for listening. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.